Hello everyone, my name is Lacey and today I have my empties and have empties from the last week to share with you, a little over a week. I typically do these mid-week and I do them every two weeks. I decided I want to try to do them weekly again and I think I'm going to start doing them on Fridays. I think it'll just make it a bit easier. When I do them every two weeks, I tend to just like forget how some of the scents performed or exactly what I wanted to say about them so I thought we would start doing them weekly again and also my bin my basket that I have my empties in is full within a week so instead of like having it overflowing and stuff like laying beside it I'm just gonna do it weekly when the baskets full moving forward so Fridays I think are gonna be my empties and half empties recording day dates you know what I mean okay let's start with the half empties these bags right here for now I just have a few so the first thing here is from the melted mousse in cowboy Christmas that one's part of the bag and this is leather vanilla musk marshmallow fireside and balsam i really really liked this i was a little nervous because on cold i get a lot of leather which i like i like leather but i really have to be in the mood for it because sometimes it's just a little too much and i get a lot of leather on cold but when this was melting you definitely got everything in there you got those vanilla notes the fireside notes the tree note even now I'm getting a lot of leather, but when it was melting, I was getting everything and it was really good. It was strong. I put it in the kitchen and the back room, I believe, and it was really strong. And this is really nice. I feel like I would get this again if I could. I'll probably end up just melting the rest of this before the end of winter just because I don't want to keep this in my collection forever. I could probably just throw this in like my bedroom and bathroom and... It would be good but yeah I really like that I would probably get that again the next one is from Teddy B's in modern farmhouse and this is Tonka and Oud vanilla birch and Egyptian amber I really like this one it doesn't I mean I guess it does I was gonna say it doesn't really on cold it doesn't really not on cold well, on cold and on warm more so on warm it doesn't really smell like the notes that it lists here to me like how i mean it does but kind of how i pictured it in my head before i ordered it isn't exactly how it comes off on warm it's very to me it's very perfumey egyptian amber can be perfumey vanilla birch isn't perfumey but i could see how it would lean perfumey in a perfumey blend um and then tonka and oud I don't know. I don't know that I've had a ton of experience with like the Tonka and Oud oil. So maybe that's a little perfumey. Either way, this scent came across as very perfumey to me while it was melting. I enjoyed it. I really like the scent. Like it smells really good. Um, I will say that several times while it was melting, it reminded me of like a thrift store. Community Aid, Salvation Army, they pump this scent into the air. I don't know if it's, I, I guess it's to make it smell like there's not a thousand items of used clothing in the, in the building. Yeah, I was getting that like thrift store air scent, <laughs> which I don't mind. I actually kind of like it. My mom hates it, but I don't mind it. And it it was kind of enjoyable while it was melting. Yeah, I don't know. I really like it. I think I'll finish this up in my bedroom and probably bathroom one day and see what I think of it again. Because I don't know if I would repurchase this just because it does give it, give me that thrift store vibe, but... I also kind of like it. It's like when something smells like so strange and different and kind of weird, but your nose is like addicted to it. That's kind of 
what this is giving. <laughs> One here from Destination Wax in Aberdeen. It is a fresh blend of lavender, cedar, green herbs, and earth. This is one of my favorite scents ever from any vendor. Um, in Angie Kentucky Waxy Girls melting challenge, I think one day was, oh, I forget what it was now. I want to say it was like melt a scent that reminds you of favorite place or something like that if I remember I'll look it up and I'll put it here but that's why I melted Aberdeen because it reminds me of Washington oh, I wish I could remember exactly what the prompt was but it reminds me of Washington State Aberdeen um, in Washington is where Kurt Cobain is from we went there several times and I just I associate the scent with Washington now Oh, it's so good. It's earthy, green, herbal. Ugh. And I'm not huge on like super green scents, like especially like sweet green scents, but this one has just this earthy herbal feel to it. And it's, it's my favorite. It's so good. <laughs> it, just, it smells like the earth in the middle of a forest in the middle of summertime but like it had rained a few days before and everything in the middle of the forest is like damp and you can smell the earth and you can smell the trees and it's well, it's so good it's one of those scents that isn't a foodie scent but still makes my mouth water Danny has said that a lot of times that scents that like shouldn't make your mouth water make her mouth water and that's kind of how I am with Aberdeen then I have from Scentsy apple butter frosting. I've had this brick for quite a while and I mean you can see how discolored that is. It's just I I haven't found that that has affected the scent in any way. No, it's just the oils stained the clamshell. I don't think it makes any difference with the wax, but because this still pretty much smells like the day I got it. Apple butter frosting isn't available anymore. I have three brick cubes left to get through, but since this is my last half empty, I'll go into the Scentsy empties now so I can tell you that I melted this with icicles and evergreen. And this is a blend that Natalie from Melt with, ja Melt with Nat and Jack has talked about several times. And I just kind of wanted to see what the hype was about and it's it was a really good blend I really enjoyed it and it makes me want to blend the icicles and evergreen with more bakery kind of scents I almost want to blend this with I think I'm I might have one clamshell of almond croissant left and I kind of want to blend this with that because I think it would be really yummy anyway apple butter frosting is just apple cinnamon it's creamy. I just touched my nose on it, so my nose is gonna burn because this scent, the cinnamon in here, makes my nose burn. Not when it's warming, just when I like stick my face in the brick, but this is really good. If this ever comes back, I would get more of it, even though it's taken me however long to get through this brick. But my nose has definitely changed since I first started. Um, I mean, it changes often, but when I first got this and when I first got into like wax and Scentsy and everything, I wasn't huge into foodie scents at all, like in any kind of way, but I'm much more into them now. Um, I mean, you still, you'll see that I still mostly melt earthy, fresh, clean, masculine, like that kind of stuff, but I, I'm very much more into foodie, bakery, gourmand situations than I used to be. So I think I would actually melt this more often now, um, especially in the fall and winter. And especially since it blends so nicely with tree scents. That's a good performer. And then let me talk about icicles and evergreen for a little bit. I did blend them, so it was a great combination, but I do like icicles and evergreen on its own. Yeah, it's really good it almost has that like I don't want to say wet dog but that's kind of what it reminds me of <laughs> but I think it's just there's certain tree scents that kind of have that but for some reason it's not like wet dog on warm or like maybe it still is but it's just 
I don't know. It's it, tell me if you get a wet dog hint in Icicles and Evergreen. But it's so good. And I did see um was it Amy? I think it was Amy from Amy's Scents and Songs. She had mentioned that Icicles and Evergreen has an apple note to her. So she went back and looked at the scent of the month pamphlet from when this was available and it does have apple listed in the scent notes. I really wish that Scentsy would just give us all the scent notes for all the scents. I understand maybe that gets a little bit cumbersome in the catalog like they try to narrow it down to like the top three scents or they give us like a, a base a mid and a top note I feel like in the catalog description but I wish they would just somewhere at even just on the website just give us all the notes because <laughs> a lot of the time I smell things in Scentsy blends and I'm like but wait that's not in the scent notes where is that coming from but it is there they just don't tell us about it she said there was apple listed and I do get apple and I think I actually think that's what it is it's the apple blending with the tree note that gives me that like wet dog <laughs> that wet dog scent it's just kind of this like damp I don't know it's this dampness anyway this is a good tree scent I didn't like love it when it first came out but I really like it now so I would definitely get more of this for like next winter so I melted some more pumpkin drizzle and oh my lanta, this was so good. I love this. I melted this to see if I needed to keep it in my club because I'm not going to melt more of it until fall probably and I didn't want to wait until fall and get more bars of it if I didn't love it. But I, I really, really liked this one. This is so good. It's pumpkin. I do get like a warm pumpkin. But there is like pineapple in this scent and I do get that too. And I don't always love pineapple in here. For me, it comes across as um, like a syrupy kind of pineapple, not super tropical. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. It's just to me, it's better than pineapple usually is to my nose. And then there's some spices in here and... I want to say maple, but it's not like, I, I don't want to say maple. And then you think like, oh, I can't do it because I don't like maple scents. It's sweet. It's kind of syrupy. Like drizzle is a good word for it, but it's like warm and comforting and just, it's unique because of that pineapple in here. I don't know. I feel like this is just one that you have to try if it sounds at all interesting to you try this one because it was so good. I will say it was strong for several hours and then it really kind of fizzled out, but I'm okay with that because I love the scent so much. Yeah, and the pineapple kind of dissipated before anything else did, which makes sense. Anyway, this is so good. I'm going to keep it in my club. I have a feeling that this might end up in the catalog this fall or they'll just I don't know, I was gonna say maybe they'll bring it back in like a collection or something, but I, maybe it won't, but I would be surprised if this weren't in the catalog because I feel like a lot of people really like that one, myself included. Okay, next is Winterberry Apple Tea. Again, this is stained, but it didn't affect the scent at all. It's been quite a while since I've melted the scent. When this first came out, I wanna say 20s, 2017, 2016, somewhere around there, I was obsessed with Winterberry Apple Tea. I melted it all the time. Like, it was one that I regularly purchased and melted, and I loved it. It's such a strong performer. I think I overdid it, and I just got tired of it because it's been a while since I've melted this. So I decided to pull out this bar. Um, one of the prompts for the last week was... I think an apple scent, melted apple scent, apple or, I don't know, it had something to do with smoothies, I think. <laughs> so I pulled out winterberry apple tea. It's really good. It's that deep, like that deep fruitiness that I just love. And then you get the, there's like a honey note in here, spices, 
it's really good and I've seen people compare this to sweet plum pastry and I would agree that it's it's definitely along the same lines they're very similar slightly different I don't know if I had to pick one which one I would pick but I think it might be winterberry apple tea so <laughs> such a good performer this will last for a few days I did take it out before it was done I could have left it in because it is a long lasting strong performer and then the last one from Scentsy I actually have in right now it's frosted vanilla this is a new favorite for me this year oh it's so good this is gonna go in my club but I'm hoping it'll come back for next fall and winter because I do feel like this was a well received scent I've seen several people say that they love this and I mean several people who do YouTube videos <laughs> there's lots more people that like this scent but I've seen several people who I watch make YouTube videos have mentioned that they love this and oh it's so good it's so good and I've seen people like some people have said that they only really get this like vanilla like this cool vanilla scent and then some people are like this is just tree and some people are like this is just mint or whatever I get a little bit of everything in here it's this really nice creamy I want to say minty vanilla but I feel like if I say minty that's going to turn some people off of this scent and it's not like a heavy mint in any kind of way it's just it has this cool freshness to the vanilla and then it's like a birch it's if you're familiar with a vanilla birch type scent that's what you're getting here I don't know this is just so good this is just so freaking good it's strong it lasts all day I love it this will go in my club and I will melt much more of this next winter really really good Okay, that's it for Scentsy. Let me get into the bags now. I have one here from the Bathing Garden in Vetiver Bells. I don't quite remember the notes on this one. Obviously Vetiver, but I feel like there's this like fresh air kind of note. It's nice. I enjoyed it. I think I had a clam of this at one point or I have a clam. I don't know, but I don't know if this is one that I'm going to repurchase. Even though I really like it, I'm trying to only repurchase scents that I love and then like try new scents aside from that. But this performed well in my tea light warmer and it was really nice. I just don't think it's a love for me. The next one is from Teddy Bees in White Woods and Bonfire. <laughs> White Woods and Bonfires. Um, White Oak, Cashmere, Soft Woods, Vanilla, and Bonfire Bliss. What did I want to say about this one? There was something. This is good. This reminds me of something. I didn't love this as much as I expected to. I know I'm not the biggest Bonfire Blitz fan, but I am really starting to like it in blends. It wasn't a favorite. I liked it. It wasn't a favorite. I don't think I need to repurchase this one. It's really nice. It definitely is that like cashmere-y, woodsy kind of scent. I don't know it's really nice I would maybe get another souffle of this just to try it again but I I it didn't like wow me I wasn't like wow I really need more of that in my life but it was a good performer it smells good it just wasn't it, it didn't like stand out to me you know okay the next one is from destination wax and nutmeg and spices um, this is from July of 21 and this was great in the kitchen I what else did I melt this with I put something in the tea light warmer and then I put this in the ball warmers you know what it might have been I think it was that vetiver bells sample I put vetiver bells in the tea light warmer and then I put nutmeg and spices in the ball warmers yeah that's what I did so this is spicy warm blend of nutmeg, ginger, cinnamon, and clove with a little caramel and vanilla. I really like this scent. I can't really smell it in here anymore, but it was just a really, yeah, like a really creamy, spicy scent, but not like heavy in your face, red hot cinnamon spice, more of those like warm, um, like cozy, comforting spices with a creaminess 
from I'm assuming the caramel and the vanilla really good I would probably get this again I know multiple vendors have this I wouldn't specifically need to get it from Destination Wax, but if I were ordering and this were available and I didn't have any on hand, I, I would grab it from Destination Wax. It performed well. It, it's a really nice scent. Okay, next is Apple Candy Kettle Corn from Savannah Blue. This is from June of 2021. I believe I pulled this out of the Round Robin last year. I want to say because I don't know where else it would have come from. So this is Kettle Corn Cotton Candy and Macintosh Apples. This was nice. I will say the first like hour or two of this melting, it had a weird note to it. It was a bit off-putting. It says Kettle Corn, but I feel like there was a butteriness for the first hour or two. But once that kind of fizzled out, it was really nice. It was just Kettle Corn, Mac Apple, Cotton Candy. But even here, like smelling the bag, there's like this off-putting butteriness that I don't like. Um, so this wouldn't be, like I wouldn't purchase this one, um, but I did like it after the first couple hours. So the next two here are from L3. The first one is Sweet Lavender Twisted Peppermint Sugar Cookie Royale. I have this in the kitchen right now. Um, and it's actually a really nice, like, complimentary scent to the, what's it called? Frosted, Frosted Vanilla from Scentsy. Yeah, Frosted Vanilla. So, Frosted Vanilla is going out here, and then I have the Sweet Lavender Twisted Peppermint Sugar Cookie Royale in the kitchen and the back room. It's a really nice complimentary scent um, to that Scentsy scent. I'm getting, like, an herbal lavender with that twisted peppermint and just a little bit of the sugar cookie royale in the background. It's really nice though. I'm enjoying it. I would, you know, grab a blend like this again if I were ordering from L3. It's performing very well though. The next one here is Fluffy Towels, Vanilla Balsam, and Spearmint. I put this in the bedrooms and bathrooms and this was really nice. That fluffy towels is like really, it's its what it sounds like. It's like a warm, fluffy laundry scent with that balsam and <laughs> that freshness from the spearmint. I really like this. So like comforting. Again, this is one I would like pick up any kind of blend like this. It doesn't necessarily have to be this one, but I did enjoy that. And then I have three here from Heat and Row. The first one is Holiday Linen. So I forget exactly what is in this. Is it winter linen? Um, I can't really smell it anymore. Yeah, I can't smell it at all in here anymore. Um, I put this in the bedrooms and bathrooms upstairs. I remember really liking it. I want to say it's like winter linen and maybe like a tree scent. I don't know. It was a really nice wintry laundry scent but it was a little more sophisticated like I feel like when I say laundry you're just gonna picture like laundry detergent or fabric softener it, it was just a little bit more sophisticated and I feel like linen scents do that they're just like crisper and more like upscale I feel like that's what this was giving with possibly like a tree note because it did have this like wintry vibe to it. I don't know. I liked it. I don't know if I need to get it again, but it performed well and it smelled great. Carrie's sweater. This one is her shorts and sweater scent with her butterbeer, I believe. And this is really good. This is a really unique combination. It's that like fresh, clean. Her shorts and sweater blend on its own is kind of a unique um laundry again laundry but not like don't think fabric softener or laundry detergent it's more of like a clean like fresh freshly laundered clothing like put away in a clean house in their clean drawers you know what i mean probably not i don't know it smells really good and then that butterbeer gives it this like what is in her butterbeer it has this like creamy warm like chewy kind of butterscotchy note to it or caramel note 
I don't know. It's so unique and so different. I would probably get this again, even though I've had this for a little while and it, I wasn't reaching for it a ton. This time when I melted it, I was like, oh, this is really good and like unique and I really enjoy it. So I would probably grab that again. This I melted on a day we were supposed to melt a scent that reminds us of our favorite movie or book. So I did some Harry Potter scents we'll get to what I had melting in the living room, but I had this in the kitchen and the back room. Really good, really strong. I would probably repurchase. Holiday Compote. This one isn't a favorite. It's good. It's like fruits, like peaches. I want to say like peach, apple. There might be some berry in here. Spices. But something in here for some reason and I like those like deep fruity notes it, it's that like deep kind of fruity spiced scent but then something smelled like coconut to me like a coconut scent that smells like burnt hair there's a lot of coconut scents that smell like burnt hair to me and I was getting that in here for some reason but I don't think there's any coconut in this, so I don't know if that was the peaches. I don't know. Something was giving me burnt hair, but then aside from that, I really liked it. <laughs> but I don't think I would repurchase this again just because that scent is like really overpowering. Last bag here is from Sassy Girl Aroma and it is under the mistletoe. The scent notes are mistletoe berries, apple pine needles, fir, cedarwood, balsam, and patchouli. Um, I feel like this is just the mistletoe fragrance oil. Like, I think this is just a single oil. I could be wrong, but I feel like that is what's in, like, just mistletoe on its own. Yeah, I don't know. I liked this. This scent is another one of those weird ones, um, because it does give me, like, wet dog vibes. So I think that must be what it is. It must be like the apple mixing with the tree notes that gives me that. But for some reason, I still like it. I don't know. It was good. It performed well. It won't be a repurchase. But yeah, kind of, <laughs> kind of weird that I like it because it reminds me of wet dog. I don't know. But I think this is just the mistletoe, mistletoe fragrance oil, like on its own. Okay. Um, one here from Yummer's Delight in Moose Lodge. Sing. Okay, this one, I don't know. It's definitely a tree. I feel like there's a little bit of a smokiness in here. This one, okay, I'm remembering. This one kind of remind me, reminded me a little bit of Black Forest Pine from Scentsy, which is one of my favorite scents ever. Yeah, that's what it kind of reminds me of. Yeah, so I enjoyed this. I did this in the kitchen, in the tea light warmer, and the bulb warmers. It was a good performer, and it does it. It kind of reminded me of Black Forest Pie from Scentsy, which um, I picked up several of in the flash sale. Let me know if you guys participated in the Scentsy flash sale and. What was your favorite thing that you ordered? Mine was definitely the Black Forest Pie and I was so happy to see that in there just all by itself. I didn't have to grab nine other scents that I don't like just to get it. Um, and it was super cheap. It was like a dollar eighty a bar. Ugh, so happy. Okay, I have a few here from Super Tarts. The first one is Teddy. And Teddy is Evergreens, Cardamom, Sandalwood, and Cedar. This was really nice. I put this in the kitchen and the back room. Um, love the tree notes. Love cedar. I love cedar. Um, love sandalwood and I love cardamom. So this was really, really nice. Just like a, like a really earthy kind of tree set, like a, an earthy blend of trees. Yeah, that was good. I would probably get this again in a clam. I don't think I need a bam of it, but I enjoyed that. Palm Diggity. This is Balsam, Pomegranate, Mac, Apple, Rosemary, and Eucalyptus. I love Super Tart's pomegranate scent. And this was so good. 
Oh man, this is so this is so good. It almost smells slightly astringent, almost like a cleaning product. Oh, but it smells like so fresh and clean, but I will say it kind of reminds me of a cleaning product, but I really like that. So if you don't like scents that smell like cleaning products, I don't know if you would like this. Or it might not even smell like that to you. Ugh, but this was really good and it was really strong and I would get this again. I would possibly get a BAM of this. I don't know why because I think this was my second clam of it. I don't know why I got a clam instead of a BAM because I really, really like that. And it is very strong. And the last one from Super Tarts is Hedwig. So I melted this one in the living room, dining room, and entryway when I had Harry's sweater from Hayden Row in the kitchen. And this is chai tea, cheesecake, and clove. This is my second bar of this scent also. It's really nice. I really enjoyed it this time, like more than I have in the past, I think. It was super strong and it was just like this creamy, like warm, creamy chai cheesecake. <laughs> But the cheesecake wasn't super overpowering and it wasn't like sour smelling. It was a very creamy, yeah, this is a really good cheesecake, like a spiced cheesecake kind of scent. I really enjoyed that. I will probably get this again. I don't know if I need it, like I would maybe get a half bam. I don't think I would need like a whole bam. Um, but yeah, really good. It performs super well this time, so... I enjoyed that. It lasted all day. It lasted into the next day. Okay, and then the last few things I have here are from the bathing garden. The first one is my snowman's pipe. My snowman? Yeah, my snowman's pipe. I don't have the scent notes on this, but there's tobacco. I want to say there's like a mint, maybe like a berry. This is nice. It's a, it's an interesting scent. It almost, I don't know. It's hard to explain. It's like this deeper kind of tobacco. Then I feel like there's a mint and it's not super minty or anything. It's almost like that fresh air kind of mint vibe. Yeah, that's actually really nice. Um, this performed well. I put this in the kitchen and I think the back room. Um, Sometimes when I put stuff in the back room, I don't really pay attention to it. So sometimes I do like purposely put it back there so I can go back there and check it. But sometimes I put stuff in the kitchen in the back room and I'm really only smelling it in the kitchen, if that makes sense. But I really like this. I think I would get a clam of this again, possibly. I don't know. Like I'm not in love with it, but it's like really interesting. I almost get like a soapy kind of note in the background there. I don't know. It's an interesting one. Performed well. I would maybe grab that again. And the next one is Milk and Honey Cake. I melted this on the Winnie the Pooh day. And I really liked this. I was starting to think that I didn't like the Bathing Garden's honey scents. And maybe I didn't in the past, but apparently I do now because I really, really like this one. That's really what it is. It's like this creamy honey. It doesn't necessarily smell like actual, like realistic honey in real life. It's like that, I don't know, that like warm, like if you've smelled honey in wax, I feel like you know what this smells like. Um, but it's not like realistic honey, if that makes any sense. It almost smells like you put honey in a recipe and then baked it rather than like you just opened a jar or a bottle of honey and you're smelling it. You know what I mean? Maybe you don't, but <laughs> I liked this one. I do want to get some honey scents from Bathing Garden in the future because I also melted Cleopatra's cream bath, which I remember really not liking in the past. There was one cube out of here. I think I melted it in the tea light warmer last year and really did not like it. Like it smelled like dog pee to me. <laughs> so I was actually kind of dreading melting this again. Like I kind of had it off to the side in my baby garden collection and I was like, probably won't ever melt that. 
but I pulled it out because I know it has a honey note in it so I pulled it out on that same day that one the milk and honey cake I had in the kitchen and I put this in the back room because like I said I don't always go back there and smell what's happening so I figured I would just put it back there and if I didn't like it I would just close the door and not smell it anymore <laughs> but I went back to check on it and I was like I actually really like this so I don't know if it was just from letting it sit for a super long time that it just like marinated to the point that it smelled amazing or if my nose has changed I feel like my nose has changed I just I don't know it's hard to even explain this one it's like dusty that's that's how little I've touched this bar of wax it has dust on it so um it's really pretty and I get that honey and I don't hate it. I want to say this might have, it's, there's some floral in here. I think it has like a clotted cream note, honey. I don't know. It's really nice. It's a unique blend. I would probably repurchase this and I never in a million years thought that I would say that. So <laughs> I really liked it this time. The last one I have here is clowning around. So we had a popcorn day and that's when I melted the Savannah Blue kettle corn scent and then I knew I had this one in my collection so I pulled it out. And this is salty and sweet popcorn, seven layer cake, blue cotton candy, and toffee dipped apples. So kind of a similar vibe to that Savannah Blue one where it has the apple and then the kettle corn pretty much and then the cotton candy kind of a similar vibe this does have that seven layer cake added in there and I did like this one a lot more like I would probably repurchase this one uh, yeah it's just kettle corn it's like kettle corn and a caramel apple is what I was getting with a little bit of cotton candy oh, so good so good I melted this in the living room dining room entryway it was strong like I could smell it upstairs and it lasted all day. I could still smell it the next morning when I came down. Yeah, this was good. I would get more of this. I really enjoyed it. I don't have a ton of popcorn or kettle corn scents in my collection, I realized when I was looking for popcorn scents to melt. So I would like to get some more in the future, especially kettle corn. I'm not, I don't think popcorn is something that I need like a ton of like a buttered popcorn but like a kettle corn yeah I'm gonna grab some more so that's everything that I got through this week I feel like the video is just as long as, long as it usually is anyway let me know what you've been melting and loving or melting and hating and let me know if you ordered in the Scentsy flash sale I, I, I'm looking forward to everyone's videos I know they're probably not gonna be out for a while because there's like a shipping the shipping takes longer for the flash sales, which I get because there's a ton of orders coming in. So I'm still, I'm looking forward to everyone's flash sale hauls, but still let me know what your favorite thing was that you picked up. There were so many warmers that were just insane deals. I had so many things in my cart. I will just say that I had over, I think I had like $250 worth of stuff in my cart, which was a crazy good deal for everything that I had in my cart. But when I went to check out, I was like, nope, <laughs> nope, not doing that. And I took out so much stuff, but they were really good deals. Warmers for like five bucks, eight bucks, 10 bucks. Like you can't beat that. But I was really just, I was there for the wax. I will say I, I typically go into the flash sales for the wax. I'm looking for like discontinued retired scents. And I really lucked out with the Black Forest Pine. So anyway, did anything jump out of your cart that you really wanted? I don't think anything jumped out of my cart. Everything that I put in, I checked out with. So that was a fun flash sale. There was a lot of good stuff in there. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you're all doing well and I will talk to you all later. Bye.